So you can really kind of think about this annotation table as a tool to aid your thinking. And what's highlighted right now are the facts that I pulled from the study. And then when it says my, <laughs> right over here, what's highlighted, these are my thoughts about the study. So they weren't necessarily stated in the study. And so I think it's important that we, we separate those things out because eventually some of these things that I'm saying over here may end up as perhaps topic sentences or claims that I'm going to make. And I will use these things on the left side of the column as evidence for what I am critiquing or analyzing about the literature. So if I don't have these two columns present over here on the right, and instead I just have um, the, the facts, then what would naturally follow from that is a lit review where I take those facts, I dump them into paragraph form, and I end up writing a paragraph that starts with, in 2016, Dolce et al. conducted a study to assess the oral health knowledge, skills, and attitudes of interdisciplinary healthcare faculty. Now, might I have a sentence like that in my literature review? Yes, but it probably won't be um, a big old topic sentence later on. It will be something that I am pulling as evidence to support some assertion that I am making about the literature as it pertains to my study. So all this is gonna come out looking neat and tidy and sort of packaged up for the reader later on, but I need to go through this thinking process now. So I'm gonna um, walk a little bit through um, what's over here on the left side and then try to make my thinking visible about how I got to some of these critiques and analysis and links and specifically the how might I use this information. <laughs> 